St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter says it is just the beginning of a conversation, but today announced his budget plan for the year ahead. Carter says there will be no property tax increases, no layoffs, and he will not tap the city's reserve funds. However, city employees will have hours cut and possible pay cuts from reduced titles. There are also cuts to every city department except technology and communications, which is getting more money because of the pandemic. Carter is also using $11 million of CARES Act funding to address homelessness and is also launching a trial of a guaranteed income program. In addition, Mayor Carter says after looking at data from 911 calls, it is apparent that police officers end up doing the work of social workers, mental health professionals, addiction specialists, and much more. The mayor's goal moving forward is to find other resources that can step in and respond to those calls that may not require an armed officer. Our goal is to lighten the load for our officers so that they can spend their time focused on the reasons probably they became an officer in the first place. Carter's budget reduces the police force by 10 officers through attrition, including seven school resource officers. The head of the St. Paul Police Federation says that reducing the police force, even through attrition, is dangerous. In a statement, Paul Kuhn says that increased crime, violence, and calls for service makes it even more critical for leaders to provide resources for its police department.